It's Tuesday night basketball action live from the Reed Family Gym on the campus of All Saints Episcopal School. Tonight, the Saints girls varsity basketball team take on the Lady Cardinals of Fort Worth Christian. Let's go to the scores desk for the player introductions. Coming in two and one in district play. That's second place for the district, coming off a win in their last game, 47 to 36. And the Warriors come right behind them at third place in district play, coming in at two and two. Their last game was a loss to the Liberty Christian Warriors. They fell 67 to 32. Getting ready to jump here at center court. Saints coming out with their regular starting lineup of Hume, McDonald, Mueller Bird. Walker and Stellato. Center court jump ball, McDonald tips the ball and the Saints win the tip. Smith and McDonald for the jump there. Saints come away with the first possession of the game. Stellato on the drive, cut off by the Cardinals defense but open for McDonald for the three and that's in and good. So Stilato with the drive, kicks it out to McDonald to give the Saints a 3-0 lead here to start the game. Pearson is stolen by Mueller Bird. Back out to Stilato, good defense by the Saints getting that steal from Pearson. McDonald in the lane, free throw jump shot is up, off the back of the rim, no good. Massey with the rebound. Back to Pearson, the Cardinals point guard. Uh, and that's stolen in the pass attempt to Knight. Stilato has got Knight backing up on the drive, up off the side of the rim, comes off. And Knight back the other way for the Cardinals. Deep corner pass for Ridge. Looking for some help there. She's got to play on the other side. Passes on the layup. Back out to Knight for the three. That comes off the back of the rim straight to Walker. Stilato met in the front court by Miller. She blows by her, gets to the rim and is fouled by Smith and I'll send her to the line for two. Stilato from the free throw line looking for her first points of the night. And that one bounces off the rim and it's good. McDonald opened up the scoring with the Saints deep three and that's been the first points for the Saints since that Stilato free throw. So two down for Stilato. Takes, Saints take a 5-0 lead with 6.30 left in the first. Ridgely trapped on the sideline, back out to Knight. Finds the corner, man, kind of corner Ridgely, back up. That's an air ball, but a tough defense. Offensive rebound for the Cardinals, but that shot is bothered by McDonald and Walker. Stilato comes it back up the other way. Stilato looking at lane. Hume and the corner three is up off the back side of the rim. And there's going to be an over the back foul on Stilato. She fights for that offensive rebound. The Cardinals pierce in the inbound. 
Cardinals still yet to get a bucket here early in the first. Knight finds Ridgely in the middle. Back out to Knight at the top of the key. Drives on Stilato. Pulls up. Looking for the contact. Doesn't get the call. But that will be a call. Oh, that's going to be a jump ball. As Mueller Bird ties up Smith in the post for the jump ball. And there's a corner shot for Knight. Misses the goal and picked up by Salato. Pushes ahead, finds McDonald in the middle, gives him a move. And they're going to call that off as a travel as McDonald tried to get around the defender, took the extra step, got called for the travel. Pearson going coast to coast, splitting Saints defenders, trapped in the corner, gets it back out to the lane. That's a quick move by Smith to give the Cardinals their first bucket of the game. Saints up 5 to 2, 5.17 left to go in the first. McDonald looking to get back to Stilato. Stilato cuts, has a lane. Float game is up. That's off the back of the rim. Knight with the push, met by Hume. And Stilato trapped on the baseline. Swinging around to Miller. Back to Knight, looking for some help in the middle of the paint. Gets it back to Miller. The Cardinals swing this ball around, looking for an opening in the Saints defense. Gets it down low on Mueller Bird. Turns and shoots, and that's going to be a foul on Mueller Bird on the shot attempt. Anna Knight, the junior forward for the Lady Cardinals, going to take her first two free throw shots of the game. <laughs> Substitutions for both teams. Hume will take as Jamie Basako will make her first appearance for the evening. And that was short off the front of the rim. Tipped away from Stilato, but she gathers control. Stilato, McDonald in the, from the free throw line. That's too strong. Waller with the rebound. It's tipped away by the Cardinals. McDonald's trapped in the corner. And that's looking for a double dribble there. And that's going to be ended up out of bounds off night of the Cardinals. Stilato looking for the screen from McDonald, gets it, drives, puts up a wild shot, but is fouled. Uh, looks like that's going to be an offensive foul on Stilato for the push off. And that's going to be a turnover for the Saints. Saints first turnover of the game, but it's still 5-3 Saints. They still lead by two. In the middle, originally that's tipped away, finds Massey. And that's going to be foul against Mueller Bird. Trying to steal that ball away from Massey on the sideline. It'll be a baseline throw in for the Lady Cardinals. Hume back on the floor as Mueller Bird will get a breather. And that's going to be an open corner shot for the Cardinals. Pearson missed that one, but that's going to end up out of bounds off the Cardinals, off that miss. So lots of shots going up this first period, but not a lot of them going down for both teams as the score is only 5-3 to three, with most of those coming from the free throw line. McDonald looking to hand off to Hume. Hume's going to be trapped, and that's going to be stolen at the baseline or at the half-court line. Back out uh, with the player behind her. That's going to be a bump and a four-shot. Four-point play possibility for Anna Ridgelow. Ridgell knocks down the three and is sent to the line to make this four-point play. Tough foul there by the Saints. 
as he bumps into the jump shooter. Ball is tipped out to Stilato. Stilato on the, on the semi-break, hits by the Cardinals player and lays it up and in. So Stilato taking that rebound, going coast to coast to score it and give the Saints a one-point lead, 7-6. to six. That's tipped by Waller. Throwing a, in the middle, Waller's giving chase. He has it on the break. Got a player trailing. Gets it up and in over Knight. So a quick deuce for the Saints. And there's another turnover for the Saints. As McDonald picks up that Aaron pass. Got the two on three break. Going to take it herself. Lays it up and in. Up over Pearson as the Saints extend this lead. Forcing the Cardinals to take a timeout. 234 left in the first. Saints up five on the Cardinals. 11 to six. Hey y'all, Chef Tim Love here. I want to introduce you to my oldest and greatest flagship restaurant, Lonesome Dove Western Bistro in the Fort Worth Stockyards. Lonesome Dove has a beautiful saloon style dining room and boasts three private dining rooms for your next wedding reception, rehearsal dinner, or even a birthday party. I'd like to invite y'all back down to the Stockyards if you haven't been there in a while and come check out Fort Worth's best fine dining destination north of the city. So the Saints extend their lead off a couple fast break buckets to five over the Cardinals. As Knight gets it in the middle, comes to Scans. That shot's up in the corner. No good, but rebounded by Massey. And that's going to be out of bounds off of the Cardinals to the Saints. Stilato met by Basico. McDonald, three-pointer from the top of the key is good. McDonald with her second three-pointer of the night. In the middle to Ridgely. Down low. Finds Pisacco. And that's no good. Stilato met by the Seco again. McDonald with the elbow jumper. That rattles up and out. Stilato with the rebound. Put back is good. And we're going to get an over and back inbound violation. A rare, the rare, uh, <laughs> the rare over and back inbound violation. You don't see that very often. The refs are usually not that tight with that call, but she must have had a good foot over that line to get that call. There's a corner shot for Wooler. Tipped by Lujang. They're going to be out of bounds off of Lujang. Pearson to inbound tonight. Knight met by Stilato. Now Pearson looking for the corner player. Pe oh, that's tipped by Waller. Out of bounds. Knight was looking for Massey in the corner, but Waller got in the way of that pass and knocked it out of bounds. Off the stack play, that's open shot passed on it. Pearson across court back tonight, that's a little too high out of bounds to the Saints. Sixty seconds left in the first. Saints up 15 to 6. Salado drives to the lane, flicks it up the shot off the back of the iron, no good, but straight to McDonald. Hume back out to Stilato. Stilato fights to open McDonald for another three. That's no good. Rebounded by Ridgely. Oh, that's passed just over the fingertips of Hume. But the shot's missed by Pearson. Rebounded to Stilato. Stilato's got Waller wide open in the corner. And that's good. With 18 seconds left to go. Saints up 18 to 6. 
over the Cardinals. Final, possible final shot of the quarter. Back out tonight. Finds Rigel. Rigel puts it up, and that's going to be off the side of the rim. Last shot of the quarter is no good. And the Saints take a 12-point lead out of the first into the second as they are up on the Lady of the Fort Worth Christian Lady Cardinals, 18 to 6. Folks, here's, here's a look at our upcoming schedule. We have a lot of basketball, soccer coming up, and starting in early March, we'll have Saints baseball, softball, tennis, track, and golf. Stay up to date with what's coming up on Texas24.tv by checking out our broadcast website, www.texas24.tv. Highly Buick GMC is located at 3535 West South Loop 820 and is a proud supporter of all Saints Episcopal School. Just like Saints football, we are state-of-the-art with master trained technicians. Located just six blocks south of all Saints and with locations all over the Fort Worth area, highly dealerships are receiving new inventory every day and are open from 9 in the morning till 8 in the evening, Monday through Saturday. The entire Highly family of dealerships say, Saints, keep marching in. the Saints go marching in, you know it. Watch out. Start of the second quarter. Saints take a 12-point lead into the start of the quarter as McDonald inbounds to Salado. Salado with a quick three. That's no good. Hume is on the floor. Hume is on the floor with Pearson, and we get a jump ball possession arrow with the Saints. So Hume getting to the floor first, tying up the Cardinals player, wins the ball. Wow. Excuse me, that possession arrow is with the Cardinals as I was looking the wrong direction. So Pearson up back out tonight. Knight drives on Hume. Shots up by Pearson off the front of the rim. Salado whips down the rebound, takes off, has McDonald up ahead. Two steps up, and that's too strong. But right there is Ujang back up for the rebound, and it is good. And Ujang with the follow bucket. Extends this Saints lead to 20 to 6. Pearson trying to cut through the defense. Gets the ball back on the, on the corner. Gets it up back to Knight. Knight with the elbow jumper. Off the front of the rim. Straight to Waller. Waller gets it out to Stilato. Down deep to McDonald. Too far underneath. Brings it back out to Stilato. Via Waller. Waller will drive, or Salado will drive, hand off to Waller. Waller's a uh, little lost with nowhere to go with the ball and ends up traveling and turnover for the Saints. Knight met at the top of the key by Salado. Oh, underneath, good find by Knight. Just missed by Smith. That was an excellent pass from Knight. Stilato on the drive, going right at this Cardinals defense, but misses that layup. Gets her own rebound, able to get it to Walker. Walker flicks it up, but is fouled on the play. So two shots upcoming for Walker. She makes her first trip to the free throw line for the night. One and one for Walker, but the Saints, with 6.20 left to go in the half, lead 21 to 6. Cross court pass to Knight. Knight finds that player on the baseline again, finds Smith, but there's a tie up there. We're going to get an, ju another jump ball as Mueller Bird and Hume tie up Smith, and this time the possession arrow will be with the Saints. Lotto, met by the Cardinals player, Fiaco. In the corner, quick shot to Hume. That rattles around and in. Hume with the quick corner three. 
It falls. The Saints up big. Another deep pass for the Cardinals. Caught, but had to bring it back out. Knight on the float. Shots too strong. Straight to Mueller Bird on the rebound. Bottle crossover to the middle of the lane. Floats it up. Too strong. Walker with the rebound. That's blocked. Clean. And Knight finds the rebound and gets it out ahead for the Cardinals. Knight with Pearson to her right. Hands off to Pearson. Pearson drives on Hume. Runs into Walker. Taking on three Saints players. Gets the shot up, but it runs off the rim. And Stolato will come the other way. Donald drives to the elbows, met by Knight. Stolato drives, floats again, back and forward, and good. So Stolato, the Saints' leading scorer, is just driving to the lane and creating her own shot as the Saints take 25 to 6 with 4.33 left in the half. Giselle in the middle, met by Walker, had to get it out. Back to Giselle. Knight on the cut, couldn't find her. Miller down low. Smith bringing it back out to Knight. Knight with the shot off the side of the rim, tips back out to the top. Knight regathers. Good pass to Pearson. Can't get the shot to fall. Ball loose, recovered by the Cardinals. Rigel back out tonight. Pearson on the drive. The jumper no good, recovered by Walker. The Saints with a good defensive possession there as they were all over the Cardinals players in the loose ball. Screen by McDonald. Stilato with the layup. Dances around the rim, goes out of bounds, and that's going to be tipped by the Cardinals. Waller will come in, take the place of Hume. And Basico, yes, Basico will take the place of Miller for a breather. Lushang at the top of the key, good catch. Lushang with the screen. Waller trying to get it down to Walker, does. Off the backboard, too strong. Lushang with the rebound, though. Gets it up, gets fouled. This is the shot, but a good offensive rebound from Lu Zhang sends her to the line for her third and fourth free throws of the night. Oh, they're going to call that on the floor. So they're going to say a reaching foul on the floor on Lu Zhang. So Lu Zhang will have to wait for those free throws. Open, which passes on the shot to Mueller Bird. Lu Zhang with another offensive rebound. Gets it down to Walker. That's tipped away. And we're going to have a pushing foul on Walker. So Lu Zhang cleaning up the offensive glass for the Saints. As the Saints have a definite height advantage on the Lady, e uh, Lady Cardinals. Putting that to their best use right now. That baseline jumper is too strong. Rebounded by Salado. Salado on the drive. Poked away by Bosico. And they're going to call it for the reach-in foul. But that's only the third team foul against the Cardinals. So that'll be an inbounds by Mueller Bird. Looks like we're going to get a timeout before that. 2.47 left in the half. Saints up big, 25-6 to six over the Cardinals. Saints Nation, if you've missed one of our broadcasts here on Texas24.tv, then you can probably find it on our Saints Nation webpage at texas24.tv. Check it out at texas24.tv. The 
for the Saints. Varsity girls, not normally a great offensive rebounding team, are dominating the offensive glass tonight as Lu Zhang herself. Oh, that's a corner shot from Hughes, and that's going to go down for Wooler. Ellie Wooler, the 5'7 junior guard, with her second three-pointer of the night. The drive by Knight, finding Massey underneath. Turnaround shots, no good. Spilato drives on Bianca, and that's another reach-in foul from Bosico. That's going to be inbounded by Stilato. So both teams with five, or both teams with five team fouls apiece. As the defense is going to get a little tight here with 2.10 left to go in the half. Stilato with the leaning three, no good, but Li Zhang right there with the rebound. Can't put the put back. Saves it out to Mueller Bird. Resets this Saints offense as McDonald looking for some help. Mueller Bird there for the bailout. Wooler thought about the three, going to drive. Step through two players. Shot, wild shot off the glass. Li Zhang got a hand on it. Ultimately recovered by Pearson. Knight looking for the screen. Needing some help on that sideline. Li Zhang has an open shot there. Going to be pass on him. Down to Smith. Shots up from the, uh, straight to the Cardinals player. Massey So the air ball. Fortunate as they go straight to Massey for the two. Saints still up by 20. 64 seconds left to go in the half. Trollado not going to play for a last shot here on the drive. Waller thought about it. Mueller Bird going to get by that her, her man or person, and that's up, and there's a foul on Li Zhang. This time on the shot. They send her to the line for her third and fourth free throws of the night. short on that free throw and we're going to get another foul as Hume goes over the back trying to secure that rebound. Goes over the back of Pearson. Knight pushing. 45 seconds left to go. Knight looking down low. That's going to be tipped around. Quick shot up by Massey. No good. And that's going to be a jump ball. As Bosico and Li Zhang tie up underneath the Cardinals basket. Cardinals will retain possession. That's a long pass at back out. Saints all over it. Pearson shots up off the back rim. No good. Li Zhang with another rebound. Salado looking to attack. Going to pull it back out. Pilato on the drive, gets in the lane, flicks up a shot, too strong off the side of the backboard. 13 seconds left to go. Cardinals with the ball. Knight looking down low, finds a player, and that's blocked by Lu Zhang. Lu Zhang adding a block to her stat line. And that's going to be no good as the Saints take a 20-point lead into halftime. Led by Stilato and Lu Zhang on the board. The Saints lead the Fort Worth Christian Lady Cardinals 28-8. to Stay tuned for third quarter action after this. Each client has specific needs, and we really want them to have that personal relationship where we're working as partners, not just as a client and a consultant. And making sure that they succeed. We really want to be accountable to them. 
the tagline of global reach, local touch, single source, was really how the industry should operate. We have clients that are not only domestic, but they're also operating abroad. Hey y'all, Chef Tim Love here, and in case you haven't noticed, or been down to the stockyards recently, White Elephant Saloon and Love Shack are going crazy. As the oldest operating saloon in the state of Texas, White Elephant showcases live music seven days a week to get all your dancing desires out of the way. And while you're hanging out, make sure you grab a burger from Love Shack. Award-winning burgers, great dancing music, amazing cocktails, open seven days a week, come check it out. So just about to get underway here for the third period as the St. Varsity girls take on the Fort Worth Christian Lady Cardinals. They lead by 20, 28 to 8. Impressive performance tonight from the Martha Lu Zhang, the four freshman 6-1 guard, and she has been dominating the offensive glass and defensive glass for the Saints. Followed by the performance of senior Riley McDonald with two three-pointers, the first three-pointer to open up this game. But the leader of the Saints, Peyton Stellato, their leading scorer during that first half, driving on the uh, uh, Cardinals defense, basically getting her own shots at will. Let's see if she continues that in this second half. Hume with a quick three with the feet from Salado. Knocks down a three. So Hume opens up the scoring for the, in the second half for the Saints. Passes on the three. The jump shot off the back of the rim. And a rebound for the Cardinals. Shot, wild shot goes up looking for contact. But no call from Massey. Stilato drives with an eight. Knight cuts it off. Knight gets the steal with Stilato tracking her down. And Knight unable to convert on the fast break. So Stilato met at the top of the key by Fosico. Hume on the baseline drive, trying to get it out to Walker. Gets it up and down. So Hume finding Walker with a good baseline pass. Saints extend their lead at 33 to 8. Knight turns the corner, gets the shot up and good. So Knight knifes her way around the Saints defense. Stilato back out to McDonald. That's tipped by Knight. Stolen again. Knight on the mini break. Will pull it back out. It's met by Hume. Drives on McDonald. Gets it over to Massey. Massey out to Pearson. Rigel with the foul. Will get fouled and sit to the line for two. So a good sequence there for the Cardinals as they get the steal. And Rigel. Is on the line for two. Person spins around and good. Wooler will come in for Mueller Bird. As Rigel drops two for the Cardinals. Cutting the lead to 21 with 6.06 left in the third. Corner shot for Waller, passes on the shot, back out to McDonald. McDonald crossover dribble into the lane. Backboard shot, no good. McDonald gets her own rebound. Back up again, flip shot, off again, but gets another rebound. Finds Walker. That shot is contested, and we're going to have a travel as Walker did not let the ball go, came down with it from that contested shot, and that'll be a turnover to the, Saint, or to the Cardinals. Knight gets around Hume. And we're going to have a foul on Hume. 
second team foul for the Saints in the third quarter. Inbounded tonight. Back tonight. Three is up. Dances off the front of the rim. Comes out. Walker with the rebound. Fights through two Cardinal players. Stilato on the push. Stilato drives. Flips it up in the lane. No good. Rebounded by Miller. Gets it back out tonight. Knight met by Waller. Rizel looks at a three, puts it up off the back of the rim. Comes down to Miller, but they're going to say out of bounds off of the Cardinals. So a quick timeout here in the early in the third quarter. 5.03 left to go. Saints up 33-12. to 12. Stay tuned for more third quarter action right here. Highly Buick GMC is located at 3535 West South Loop 820 and is a proud supporter of all Saints Episcopal School. Just like Saints football, we are state-of-the-art with master trained technicians. Located just six blocks south of all Saints and with locations all over the Fort Worth area, Highly dealerships are receiving new inventory every day and are open from 9 in the morning till 8 in the evening, Monday through Saturday. The entire Highly family of dealerships say, Saints, Keep marching in. Back to action here in the third. Saints still with a 21-point advantage over the Cardinals. Spilato gets the screen. Dribbles around Knight. Elbow jumper is good. So Stilato makes some space and knocks down the jump shot. Rigel, cross-court pass to Miller. Back out to Knight. Knight met by Hume. Miller with the quick shot, too strong. And McDonald chases it down in the corner. Back out to Stilato. Stilato on the push. Has Wooler up ahead. Has, looks for Walker, finds it. Walker up the glass and good. So the fast break point still piling up here for the Saints as they continue to get out and run on the Cardinals. Inside to Rochelle. Cross court's going to be tipped by Waller. Picked up by Knight. And they're going to call a backcourt violation. As they're saying that was not tipped by the Saints player. Wooler into Stilato. Stilato met by Miller. Picked up by Miller again. Stilato drives, finds Wooler in the corner, gets the shot up. Air balls, but straight to McDonald. That's going to be blocked by Pearson. Out of bounds to the Saints. So the missed shot goes straight to McDonald. But the Cardinals player is right there to knock it out of bounds. And that's going to be a five-second violation as Waller could not find a Saints player to get it out to. And the Saints commit the turnover. 3.33 left in the third. 37 to 12, Saints up on big, up on the Cardinals. That ball's knocked away by Slotto, but straight to Rugel, back to Knight. Knight slips, keeps her dribble though, gets it back to Rugel. And they're gonna say, oh, that's gonna be out of bounds on Smith on the baseline. McDonald with the open three, and that's clean. McDonald knocks down her fourth three of the game. That's going to be a steal for Stilato. She comes up with it. Saints on the push. Has Walker in the middle. Stilato with the flip shot is up and good. Stilato continuing the score for the Saints, 233 
And the Saints up 30, 42 to 12. Sacco out to Knight. Knight turns the corner. Baseline. Reverse is good. Pretty reverse layup by Ellie Knight. The junior guard. The 5'8 junior guard with a great reverse layup. McDonald open again for the three. And that's number five. The fifth three-pointer for McDonald. She knocks down another from behind the arc. Inside to Rogel, and a wide open underneath. Bella Smith knocks down the two-pointer. Stilato takes her own three. That's off the back of the rim. McDonald gets bumped on the rebound, and then it's going to be tied up. Possession arrow, however, will be with the Cardinals. As Lejeune gives Walker a breather, returns to the floor. Knight over to Pearson. Pearson finds Rigel on the drive over Mueller Bird. Back of the rim, no good. McDonald fighting for the rebound. And Smith with another putback, too. As the Cardinals trying to claw back into this one with 104 left in the third. Stilato, elbow jumper is up. It's too strong. Straight to Rigel, back to Knight. Knight on the break, pulls it up. In the middle, has Miller underneath, pulls up. Rebound straight to McDonald. Stilato on the drive, runs into steps by Smith and gets the bucket. Stilato with the Euro step puts down the bucket. It's going to be sent to the line for a three point play. That shot is good, completing the three-point play. Saints up 49 to 18. 36 seconds left to go. Check that, 48 to 18. Knight looking to push, gets the shot up, is fouled, and she's going to go to the line to shoot two with 29 seconds left in the third. Second one's off the back of the rim. McDonald fighting for the rebound over Smith. 22 seconds left to go. Stilato on the drive, finds McDonald, puts up another three. That's off the side of the rim. Luzhang tips it, gets a rebound, back out to McDonald. 12 seconds left. McDonald pressured by Knight. Stilato looking for the last shot. Will try to step by Smith. And we're going to get an offensive foul. So Salato gets called for the offensive foul as Smith steps up to stop the drive. Quick ahead, Knight passes it back. And there's the heave off the backboard. The heave by Pearson off the side of the backboard. End of the third quarter. Saints up 48-18. Stay tuned for the... Last period, fourth quarter action after this. Thanks up big. Hey y'all, Chef Tim Love here. And by the way, I know everybody out there loves Mexican food. So that's why we created Paloma Suerte. Down in the stockyards in Mule Alley, amazing birria tacos, tableside queso, some of the best margaritas you'll find around, and 13 frozen margaritas on tap. If you wanna have a good time, eat some great Mexican food, come down and see me at Paloma Suerte. Start of the fourth quarter, 
Wooler to inbound to Stilato. And we've got a brief moment here. Since we've got a moment here, Saints fans, our next basketball coverage begins at 4.30 p.m. Next are two Tuesdays from now on February the 7th as we bring you another triple header of JV Girls Varsity Women's and Men's Games right here at the Reed Family Gym. Wohler is going to be fouled by Rigel. Only the second team foul for the Cardinals. Saints with four team fouls. Rijang with the screen for Stilato. So that kicks out to McDonald. Off the back of the rim. Tipped up by Waller to the floor. And that's going to be a jump ball as Waller and Rigel tie up on the floor. Possession arrow to the Cardinals. Knight on the drive. Gets it down to Miller and Smith. Knight loses it. Lejang tips it. It's in between the feet. Battle for it on the floor. And we're going to have a second here as contact is made with Knight. As they scramble for the ball, I hope she's okay. I'm going to take a second here. So let's take a break here as well as uh, the Cardinals players take care of Ellie Knight. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, y'all. Chef Tim Love here. And today I'm talking about Woodshed Smokehouse, who just celebrated its 10-year anniversary of one of the greatest outdoor venues in the city of Fort Worth. The first restaurant to ever open on the Trinity River in Fort Worth with amazing barbecue, great salads, unusually smoked vegetables, and some of the greatest staff and coldest cocktails you'll ever see. Live music five days a week. Hang out outside. Enjoy the fire pits during the winter. And enjoy the mistress during the summer. Come see us. So a good sight there as Ellie Knight walks off of the floor, a little shaken up, but looks to be okay after the, after the, it's a little confusing here. So yes, Ellie Knight walks off, seems to be okay. After the loose ball struggle there, made some contact, looks like she's gonna be all right. 7.03 left in the game. McDonald with another three-pointer, this one misses. Rebound by Smith. Pearson brings it up ahead. Smith on the baseline, drives on Mueller Bird, pulls it back out to Webb. Webb is going to be fouled by Wooler. That's going to be a foul on Wooler. The fifth team foul on the Saints as Wooler will take a seat and Hume will return to the floor. That ball catches Webb by surprise, able to make the catch. The handoff missed, but picked up by Rogel. Back to Smith. Pearson in the lane, gets fouled. Shot no good, but she'll go to the line for two. Pearson, one for one from the line, gets the second, makes this a 48 to 19 Saints lead. Stilato with the screen for Lujang. McDonald misses the three, so McDonald going a little cold from the three point line after hitting five for the evening already. Last couple of missed, but the Saints will take a timeout with 6.12 left to go. Saints up 48-19 over the Lady Cardinals. Highly Buick GMC is located at 3535 West South Loop 820 and is a proud supporter of all Saints Episcopal School, just like Saints football. 
We are state-of-the-art with master-trained technicians. Located just six blocks south of All Saints and with locations all over the Fort Worth area, Highly dealerships are receiving new inventory every day and are open from 9 in the morning till 8 in the evening, Monday through Saturday. The entire Highly family of dealerships say, Saints, keep marching in. Saints fans, just want you to remind you to stay up to date with what's coming up on Texas24.tv by checking out our website at www.texas24.tv. We have lots of basketball and soccer coming up and starting in early March. Saints baseball, softball, tennis, track, and golf. So the Cardinals to inbound after that Saints uh, turnover. Webb with the deep three, that's missed. Picked up by McDonald, McDonald out on the break, being chased by two Cardinals players, knocked away and recovered by Pesico of the Cardinals. Smith turns on, on Lu Zhang and gonna be fouled. <laughs> Bella Smith, the six foot junior forward for the Cardinals turns on Lu Zhang and gets the three-point play opportunity. Off the backboard, straight to Stilato. Stilato pushes ahead. Gonna drive and it's gonna be fouled on the floor. No shot. As the ref call it on the floor. Only the third team foul against the Cardinals. Mula Bird to inbound. In the corner to Salado. Salado drives, looks, finds McDonald. She'll drive the lane inside to Lu Zhang. Lu Zhang fumbles, gets the rebound, recovery. Out to Hume, who knocks down the corner jumper. Kayla Hume gives the Saints a 50 to 21 lead with 5.18 left to go. On the sideline, that's going to be a foul on McDonald. As she fouls Pasico on the sideline. So Walker returns. Lu Zhang will take a breather. It's the eighth team foul on the Saints, so that puts Pasico on the line for a one and one. Dances around the rim, comes off to McDonald. McDonald's stuck, look, finds Stilato. Stilato with the screen from Walker, puts up the long three, rattles around, out. And straight to Rogel. Rogel hands off to Pearson. Rogel smothered by Stilato. Webb finds Smith in the corner. Smith knocked away by Mueller Bird. Has it on the floor. That's another jump ball created by Pearson. Possession arrow to the Saints this time. So substitution as Hume will be replaced by Waller. Walker, they're going to call an offensive foul for a moving screen on Walker. So Walker not getting set, trying to set the screen for Stilato will be called for the foul. Webb will give way to Basico. Check that, Massey. Massey in for Webb as the Cardinals make a substitution. Rogel. Traps at the baseline. It's going to be stolen. Uh, they're going to say it's a timeout. So before the turnover, the Cardinals get the timeout. 420 left to go. Saints up 29 on the Cardinals. 50 to 21. 
Each client has specific needs, and we really want them to have that personal relationship where we're working as partners, not just as a client and a consultant. And making sure that they succeed. We really want to be accountable to them. The tagline of global reach, local touch, single source was really how the industry should operate. We have clients that are not only domestic, but they're also operating abroad. So 420 left to go in this one. 420 left to go in this one. Cardinals to inbound. Michelle stolen by McDonald. Mila Bird this time on the push. Up to McDonald. With Waller in the corner. McDonald with the quick jump shot from the lane. Walker knocked away from her. And the Cardinals, Miller on the fast break, blocked by Mueller Bird, out to Walker. Stilato will go the other way. Stilato, one on three, it's gonna take on the Cardinals defense, but gets it back out to Bird. Waller in the corner, quick out to McDonald. Stilato around the perimeter, met by Rigel. Rigel's gonna reach in and be called for the foul on Stilato. Anna Rigel called for the foul on Salado, but only the fourth team foul for the Cardinals. 3.23 left to go in the game. So Stilato's going to hold, wait for that Cardinals defense. Over to McDonald. That's his spot all night. This time it's short. So McDonald going a little cold from the arc. But she's missed her last couple of threes. Found Smith on the baseline. Runner is no good but there's going to be a bumping foul on McDonald. So McDonald called for the foul. That's the 10th team foul on the Saints. So another one and one opportunity for the Cardinals. Actually, no, that 10th foul will put the Cardinals, will put the Cardinals into the double bonus. So there'll be two shots. First one goes down. Massey, two for two from the line. Two fifty-five left to go. Saints with a comfortable cushion. Up 50 to 23 on the Cardinals. McDonald looking for Walker. That's going to be blocked by Rogel. Rogel's got Salado to beat. McDonald comes back and commits the foul, and will send Rogel to the line again. So Rogel, who just hit two free throws, get an opportunity to hit two more. And that's two down. Anna Rogel, the 5'8 junior forward for the Cardinals, gets four straight points for the Lady Cardinals to cut this lead to 25. But with 2.22 left to go, it's an uphill battle for the Cardinals. Hume with the air ball. And that's going to be another foul on the rebound. Wooler called for the foul on the rebound. That's going to be two shots. That's the tenth. The Saints in the double bonus, or the Cardinals in the double bonus. We'll get two shots from here on out with every foul with 2.17 left to go. Yeah. 
And Smith puts down two more free throws for the Cardinals as they made their last six free throws in a row. Salato double teamed at the key. Played by Miller, gets around Miller, steps through, fouled on the drive. And now Stilato, Peyton Stilato with their chance to go to the free throw line. Now, So Peyton Stilato with her first free throw, free throw attempts since early in the first. And she puts down both of them. Two minutes left to go in the game. Rogel driving on Lejeune. Spins, brings it back out. Pearson is going to be fouled on the perimeter. So it's a tough foul for the Saints as they foul on the perimeter. And every foul will put the Cardinals on the line for two. That's tipped up by Salado. Corralled by Salado. Salado will get the screen from Lu Zhang. Calls it off. Drives. He's just going to hold this one with one minute and 25 seconds left to go in the game. The Saints. Are going to look to keep this ball away from the Cardinals. But he knows he's going to turn the corner, drive and shoot. So just as the Saints look to be trying to play keep away, Hume turns the corner, knocks down the funny jumper. On the drive, that shot's up to off the front of the rim. And we're going to get a foul here. I guess are they going to say travel on Hume? So yeah, they're going to call him for the travel. But with one minute left to go, the Saints, with a big advantage here, just looking to close this one out. And that's going to be stolen by Wohler, who just came on the floor. Up ahead to Stilato, passes short. Wohler's going to get it back, finds Zhang in the middle, trying to find Wohler underneath. Can't handle it. Knocked away back to the Cardinals. So the Cardinals still playing hard. With 48 seconds left to go, not giving the Saints anything easy. Last 45 here to go. Cross court to Rogel. Looking for Pearson. Pearson picks it up. He's going to pull up and shoot. No good. Tapped away by Stilato. Over the back of Massey. Out of bounds. Back to the Cardinals. Rogel. Massey into the corner. That's going to be blocked by Mueller Bird and recovered by Lujang. So the Cardinals will walk away or will come out of this one. Still in third place, two and three in the division. The Saints will improve to three and one, stay in second place in the division as they win this one tonight. Against the Fort Worth Christian Lady Eagles, they are victorious. With the final score, Saints 54, Cardinals 27. As a reminder, folks, join us next Tuesday for more Saints basketball action right here on Texas24.tv. And be sure to thank our sponsors for making all of our live coverage of these games possible. Pass the word, Saints. And Athletic is right here on Texas24.tv. TTF. And stay tuned for the next game as the senior boys take on these same Fort Worth Christian Cardinals.